Hey, brothers and sisters in YouTube family. So this is the Divine Mercy Prayer. And I wanted to incite or give you um, the promises the Lord attached to this prayer for anyone who speaks it. This particular prayer was given to Faustina Kowalski, Kowalska, who was a nun and died in the 1930s. And the Lord made her Apostle of Mercy for the entire church. Once again, it's not about the Catholic Church or the Protestant Church, but this is a powerful prayer that all of heaven yields to. And this is something that we've been missing in the Protestant Church, this particular prayer and chaplet. And it's so powerful to pray. And God's desire is us, especially in our nation right now, and as to what's to come, that this is a, a prayer that you should run to, to really invoke his mercy upon your life, the life of your loved ones, your family members, the life of those who are dying around you, and the life of our nation too as well. And so I just want to read to you first the promises attached to this prayer. So the first promise is the Lord spoke to um, Faustina concerning these promises. All of those who say this particular chaplet will receive all the 15 promises in this prayer. And if you say it with your whole heart. The first promise, I promise that the soul that would venerate the image of divine mercy will not perish. I also promise victory over its enemies already here on earth, especially at the hour of death. I myself will defend it as my own glory. And so the image I put up is the image the Lord gave to Faustina in a vision which she painted now has circled around the whole world. And many people venerate and honor this image and pray, pray to this, uh, pray with this image in mind when they're praying the divine mercy. Second promise, the souls that say this chapel will be embraced by my mercy during their lifetime, especially at the hour of their death. Third promise, when hardened sinners say it, I will fill their souls with peace, and the hour of their death will be a happy one. Fourth promise. When they say this chaplet in the presence of the dying, I will stand between my father and the dying person, not as a just judge, but as a merciful savior. Fifth promise. Whoever will recite it will receive great mercy at the hour of death. Priests will recommend it to sinners as their last hope of salvation. Even if there were a sinner most hardened, if he were to recite this chaplet only once, he would receive grace for my infinite mercy. I desire to grant unimaginable graces to those souls who trust in my mercy. Number seven, to priests who proclaim and extol my mercy, I will give wondrous power. I will anoint their words and touch the hearts of those to whom they will speak. Eighth promise, the prayer most pleasing to me is a prayer for the conversion for sinners. Know, my daughter, that this prayer is always heard and answered. Ninth promise, at the three o'clock hour, implore my mercy, especially for sinners. And if only for a brief moment, immerse yourself in my passion, particularly in my abandonment at the moment of agony. I will refuse nothing to the soul that makes a request of me in the virtue of my passion. Tenth promise, souls who spread the honor of my mercy, at the hour of death I will not be a judge for them, but the merciful Savior. Eleventh promise, the two rays denote blood and water. These two rays issued from the very depths of my tender mercy when my agonized heart was opened by a lance on the cross. These rays shield souls from the wrath of my Father. I desire that the first Sunday after Easter be the Feast of Mercy. Whoever approaches the fount of life on this day will be granted complete remission of, my, of their sins and punishment. Mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy. Twelfth promise. I desire that the Feast of Mercy be solemnly celebrated on the first Sunday of Easter. The soul that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion in the state of grace on this day shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. Thirteenth promise. Through this chaplet, you will obtain everything if what you ask for is compatible with my will. And lastly, 14 promise, my mercy is greater than your sins and those of the entire world. So these promises alone, guys, are amazing. We don't know the immense of God's mercy. And for anyone who's watching and listening to this, evangelists, Protestants, those who have a burning desire to see souls saved, guys, this is the prayer. I love the six promise. It says that any person, any sinner, any sinner, however hardened the heart, if they recite this prayer just once, 
they'll receive grace and salvation of soul. They'll receive God's mercy and they will be saved. And if we recite this over anyone who's dying, whether unbelieving or believing, that God will stand in the gap and be a just, not a just judge, but a merciful savior. He has so many graces the Lord has given upon this earth through his servants in order to draw all souls to him. That's his desire. He thirsts for souls. So his prayer is so powerful. And if you say it every single day at the three o'clock hour, all these promises will be obtained for you. And for those you're praying for, your family members, your loved ones, your friends, your nation, your community, your cities, this is a prayer to run to in this hour that is coming upon our nation. And now I want to go into the Divine Mercy Chaplet. So please pray along with me. You can pray this particular prayer on a rosary bead, or you could just use your hands because you say the particular prayer invoking the Lord's mercy 10 times. And as you're saying this prayer, say it with your whole heart and envision yourself before the throne room of God because that's exactly where you are, kneeling with the Lord and all the saints, our blessed mother, invoking the Lord's mercy where the angel of wrath is to be released and judgment is to be released upon the earth upon a soul. You stand in the gap by saying this prayer and invoke the Lord's mercy upon them. So pray along with me. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gush forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy open up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon it. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and thou of our death. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered unto Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again and ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Apostolic Church, and the communion of saints and forgiveness of sins. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy upon us in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, the blood, the soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy upon us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. Holy God, 
Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and treasure of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us a difficult moment to not not despair nor go despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen.